Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I hope you are well. Today is going to be another declutter video and I'm going to take a page out of the book of a few other channels and just make this a universal intro. Um, so therefore, based on the thumbnail and based on what is written right here below my face is what the category of the declutter will be. I do not have any intent to be cutthroat. Um, I also may get through a category and not get rid of anything. I have no um, plans or expectations other than to just really get a handle on what I have, what I don't need, what I'm not going to use, what I would like to sell. And let's get into it. So I'm going to include the face palettes on top and keep them open, right? I already know I want to keep these face palettes, so these are not anything I'm making a decision on. But I do, um, I do want to have them kind of in front of me when I'm considering other blushes. And just as a background, this is um, the House Labs. A holiday face palette from last year. This is the NARS holiday face palette from last year, 2023, and this came out earlier this year. This is the Natasha Denona Hyper Natural face palette. Okay, let's take this Chanel. Um, this is one of the first blushes I ever bought when I was starting to get into makeup again. It's called Malice, I believe. Yes. It's you know, it's basically just a sort of nice neutral pink, warm pink. Um, it's very, very fine. It's really beautiful. Look at that, how I blended it away, but that's the point is you can put it on and blend away if you think you put too much. Um, I definitely want to keep that one. I, this one, I have to think about because I have some other things like it. So let me come back to that. This MAC blush, this is um, also a dark blush. This is like a brick red. And um, this one is matte. This one, which looks like a complements it in the NARS, is actually, it's actually glowy. So they're not quite the same thing. I like this one. That one will stay. And this one will stay as well. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to keep anything because of cute packaging, but I actually do want to keep this blush. Um, I do like the blush. It's sort of like a, um, you know, it's like a pretty pink berry. So this one will, um, this one's going to make it through round one. This one from Natasha Denona, kind of, but... It'll, it's going to stay for the first round. Um, so I said I'm going to come back to that. This Glam Light Scooby-Doo, um, I don't really use it. I don't really think about it. I just don't think about cheek palettes a lot of times. That's the problem with them. You know, it's just so much easier to reach for a, uh, like a single sometimes because you, you have a better idea of what's in it. I think I'm going to pass this one along. All right, so that's my first pass. Um, and then let's look at these from Give Beauty. So this one is Honeymoon Phase. And this one is Crush on You. Both very pretty. This is almost like a brown. Um, I know you kind of... Yeah, so that one... That's like almost like a brown berry, right? Um, this one is a purple, not necessarily a swatch, you know what purple looks like. We'll have some other purple things coming up. And I really like that. I don't have anything like this. This, again, this is a lavender also in the NARS, but it's um, frosty, um, luminous, whereas this one is less so. So these are both going to stay. Um... Okay, and then I said this uh, Gucci. So let me pull out a few more things and we can talk about that Gucci. Okay, here is the next batch. So uh, this Gucci, 
on the shade number seven, True Pink. This was sort of the Barbie pink that everybody was into last year, including myself, and I still am. Um, so the reason I opened that one is because I have this palette, right, from Patrick Ta. This is just enough. So this is one of the newest shades that came out. There might be some other baby pinks coming up, but for right now, what do I want to do? So this one leans a little more purple to my eye. Um, it's kind of close to this one here, but of course this is in a palette and I like the shadow, so that's not going to go anywhere. This is one of his most recent ones. Um, or this is one of the releases from this year. So they're kind of the same, but they work in different ways. Of course, like this is just powder and these are cream powder. So I don't want to get rid of any of these yet. And that might, that might change. Um, or not. Okay. Let's talk about these two Dior's. Um, I have the shades Berry and Mahogany. And I was influenced to get these. I watched a video by Amanda Z. You know, she she does a really great comprehensive job of reviewing makeup. And, you know, she said about Mahogany, for example, this one was really nice. It's so buildable. It would make a wonderful you know, contour if you want to use it that way, or a bronzer, and I was like, oh, yes, yes, that's, you know, absolutely you can do that, but now I know I don't use contour, I don't really contour, um, and this just would look, I don't think it would look very good on me as a blush, so I'm, I'm actually going to get rid of this, I'm going to try to sell it, and I think I'm going to try to sell this one as well, so this is the one Berry. Again, I've used this one a little more than the Mahogany one that I think I used once. It's, um, it's very nice, but I don't necessarily remember these. And I like the formula, so that's not to say I won't pick up another shade um, down the road. But right now, I, I'm happy with getting rid of those. All right, and then let's look at the rest of my Patrick Ta's. So this one is She's the Moment. Let me put that down. Um, She's Wanted. This was from one of the original releases. And not too much. So um, I like all of these. And um, I don't want to get rid of my Patrick Taz. I kind of just got them this year. And they're a product that I enjoy using. Okay, then I have this one, which is Warm Berry. Um, probably unique enough. I, I will keep this one for this round. Okay, um, these are more of my singles. Um, okay, in this group, let's start with some easy decisions. For example, this is Rose Pomet from Hermes. Beautiful, beautiful blush and um, totally keeping just a beautiful, natural looking flush to the cheeks. I'm putting on a little more to build it up so you can see in the light. Okay, so I love that one, absolutely staying. These two here, these are from Suku, um, a Japanese brand. And I was influenced to get Suku by watching Elisa Archer. But I don't really use them, and I don't use them over other things. I think the best decision is to just sell them, honestly. So these two are going to go. All right, here is Pat McGrath. Let's see. I have Love Struck. I have Electric Bloom. And I have 
Nude Venus. Okay. And I'm, I'm keeping all three of these. I just really like Pat McGrath. So they're going to pass through round number one. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? So another Chanel blush. Oh, this is Light and Berry. So this is something from their summer collection. Very pretty colors. Um, I've used it already. See some of the embossing is worn off. So this one is going to pass round one. And this is from fall of 2023. So this is Douce Equinox. Sorry for my French. And I really like this one. I don't have much like it. And I remember last year I wanted the berry one, but it was sold out. So this is the one I got. And I'm glad I did. I don't have much like it. I've worn it... Um, at least 10 times this past month alone so this one is a is a definite stay okay this one from kaleidos is called pale rose and this is one of those blushes that um It's absolutely beautiful, but does is it redundant with other things I have? You know, maybe. Although, it looks like that. Oh, this one is frosty. Let's see. So there's the Kaleidos and the, the NARS. Let's see what they would look like together. This is just the matte Kaleidos alone. Huh, I thought I was absolutely positive I was going to get rid of this one. Um, it's going to pass round one, okay? Now, here is a Westman Atelier. This, I think this is in the shade, it is, it's in the shade Petal. So, I have this Petal, and then I have the, um, the stick version, the cream version of Petal. So, I need to compare those. Okay, and then from Jones Road, we have Pop. This is another baby pink. Um, so, I think this one will be good in round two when we compare to other stuff. Okay, this is all that's left. I have one single and the rest of these are more kind of cheek palettes. So let's go through. I had said in the beginning, um, this is a cream by Makeup by Mario called Barely Blushing. I um, really like this product. I love how it really gives that almost, you know, just a completely natural looking cheek so that's gonna stay that should have been in the creams though okay um let's do let's do something easy to start which are my wayne goss this is sweet wildflower is the palette and we have dusty rose and honeysuckle and i love this palette then this one is Vivid Azalea, the palette, and the colors are Shocking and Pearl. And, I mean, look at that. I think these are stunning. So, they're not going anywhere. When we go to round two, I will start doing some swatches. More swatches, I think, as we get there. But I love those too much. And I really like Wayne Goss. Okay, this is from Louboutin. This is a custom palette where you pick the outside and then you can pick what the insert is. So there were a number of different blush highlighter options. Some of them were eyeshadows. So I got this because I was kind of caught up in the moment after watching a declutter by Michelle Wong and she had a couple of these and I said, oh, I like that so much and I got it. But 
Um, uh, this is a regret. I think this is something that I can definitely get some money back for. You see the Louboutin is a little bit worn off on the highlighter, and I probably use the highlighter more than anything in this. I just don't think about it. I don't reach for it. Um, and, you know, this is an example. The packaging is a 10 out of 10, right? But, um, yeah, I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it. That's, that's good. I, that feels good. Okay, Natasha Denona, I have these two. So I, I always get caught up in the craze of this release. This was, I think this was 2024, and this was 2023. Um, I don't use these because I don't remember I have them. So this is the My Dream Cheek Trio, and this one is the Berry Pop Cheek Trio. Um, I, I like them plenty. Let me compare the formulas. Yeah, the formulas of the blushes both feel the same of the powder part. Then we have, this is a cream highlighter and that's a powder highlighter. Oops, wrong finger. Um, gee, that's really gorgeous. Okay, you're going to stay. And then... Then let's look at you again, right? Did I put the wrong finger? No, I think that, no, that was the right finger. This one feels to me like I already have it in another palette. Um, I mean, I think I have berries already. I, I think I'm gonna let this one go and I'll, I'm gonna keep the My Dream Trio. We'll go back and look at that one again and see if I'm making things up in my mind. Okay, and then this is another palette that I also forgot to show in my face palette video. So I don't want to get rid of this one. I think this one is redundant, absolutely. But this one less so, and I really like these toppers, right? I mean, the toppers are probably 70% of the reason why I would want to keep this. And when I have used this, I use the blushes in it just to make a very cohesive kind of look. So I, I really like it. So this face palette will stay as well. All right, so after round one, um, we're definitely getting rid of the 2 Dior, the Louboutin, the 2 Suku, and I think the Glam Light. I just don't think about it, and I know... I would rather use other palettes than what's in this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six gone so far. Pretty good. All right, so let's let's swatch these and make some decisions. And also we can, you know, talk about what they feel like. So those two, that's the Jones Road, that's the Gucci. Um, very 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 fine really beautiful and actually they're very different from each other i thought they would have been the same so that's good to know let's let's do this kaleidos you know this i just got to say this collection of kaleidos what they've been coming out with lately i think it's because they're trying to appeal more to the asian market where these kinds of pale tones are very popular all right then let's going to put them together. What do I want to do? There's the independent and the... All right, so here's the Give Beauty. Um, this is definitely more purple. It's most similar to this one. This one I've had about a year. This one I've had a few months. finish with uh, that's the cream that's the powder is there anything to get rid of what was this one this was the Chanel and this is the um, honeymoon phase I'm a little surprised that this one is swatching so much more of a, like a, you know, warmer relatively to this one. 
So, um, all right, so what are we definitely absolutely going to keep? <sighs> we're keeping Patrick Ta, we're keeping this rose quartz. Um, I definitely want to keep this Gucci Barbie. I love it. The Kaleidos, I really like this. Of course, packaging, 10 out of 10. I, I don't know about this one. I'm going to come back to it. I need to consider some things. I'm also going to come back to this one. This surprised me at like what it looks like compared to what I expected by looking at it. So... And then this Jones Road, um, yeah, this one is also, we have to see. So the, I'm definitely going to keep this one from Give Beauty. In terms of peachy coral, this might be all that I uh, have. Now there is, of course, the fire opal that I already talked about I'm keeping, but that's very tangerine-y. That's different from this one. This one is a little more fall-like, which, you know, was also released with the fall collection. So, um, those are all definitely staying. Okay. Let's look at some of these, um, kind of natural, rosy tones. So here we have the neutrals to the, um, you know, warm pinks. And what do I absolutely, I absolutely love these two. I love this Wayne Goss palette. If I had less things in my drawer, I'm more likely to use this. This is like a, you know, a luminous champagne. It is so, so pretty. And then the highlighter that goes with it is gorgeous so i love this um and i love this one from patrick ta right that's just a entirely different vibe so wayne is absolutely staying patrick's absolutely staying um here is my pat mcgrath that i also love this one because it's again kind of in that same category of just hmm. I'm going to give it another swatch because I feel like my finger was a little dirty a little shimmery I should say okay yeah this one is Right off the bat, I feel like this um, My Dream Cheek Trio doesn't add anything that I wouldn't already get out of these. And I have a Patrick Ta highlighter in his new formula that when I would use a Patrick Ta blush, I would want to use that. So this also has like a highlighter associated with it. So I'm getting rid of the My Dream Cheek Trio. Um... I'm definitely keeping those two. All right, Pat McGrath and Westman Atelier. We need to come back. I'm definitely going to keep this one. Um, it's my only Hermes blush. I love the shade. Again, it's a very natural, it's like a natural, healthy flush to the cheek. And yes, I like the packaging too. I'm not going to make believe I don't. Um... This Chanel blush in the shade Malice. It's a little more berry than I would have thought by looking at it. This one I'm going to put aside uh, to compare with something else here. This one's a little warmer than I expected. I'm going to come back to it. Um... I don't know. I'm surprised. I, I always thought this was my absolute favorite blush, but if I had to get rid of one, it actually is also a little glowy, which I never really appreciate. I thought it was matte. Um, yeah, I'm surprised. I'm going to get rid of the Pat McGrath. Wow. I did not see that one coming. And 
you know, then this one is a, I keep forgetting um, which swatch is which, so I just have to start over. Okay, so this is staying, of course, um, and Patrick is staying. I'm just doing this so we can all see, bad swatch. All right, the Westman Atelier. This is more like a cream to powder formula. It's beautiful. That's Patrick Ta. I, I also just grabbed my Westman Atelier stick in petal, right? So these are the same shade. Again, I, I don't remember which is which, okay. Now let's do this petal, and let's do this petal. Uh, you know, I don't need two Westman Atelier petals. Which one am I going to? Hmm, this is a hard one now. They both have cool packaging, right? So that's that negates everything. They're not really the same shade. Oh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. I again. I did not expect that. I thought that one was going, but here's where we are. Let me keep pedal here for a moment. Um, all right, let's look at some berries. It's kind of a warm berry. This video, I got to tell you, if you haven't noticed already, it's an absolute hot mess. Um, Editing, I know, is going to be a nightmare. There's a Patrick Tom. I need to say. Okay, now I put all these together because I think it helps looking all in person and on screen how they, um, I think the screen is pretty, pretty accurate. So right off the bat, what do I think is really special that I would not want to get rid of? So that would be this one, which is stunning. Um, oh my God, I already, I already am not... I think some of these are going to go. I'm surprised. Um, I think I think this one's really a really unique shade. Um, so I'm going to keep that Give Beauty. What was the one I just said I'm getting rid of? Oh, no. All right, the Give Beauty's back because now that I'm looking at things, I want to swatch this one. Oops. Damn it. So that is the MAC. That's the Gucci. Oof, that's beautiful. You know, I mean, while they're all technically different reds, um, you know, I, I'm not going to wear 10 gradations within the cool to warm red range. I'm going to wear a cool and a warm red so, all right, I really, let's do this one. That's much, that's much more like a dark brick than I expected. Um, this shade looks like the Gucci. Hmm. Could always wear the Gucci with like just a glowy highlighter on top of it, right? I think I'm going to keep the Gucci, and I don't feel like there's enough of a difference between these two to justify it. So, wow, I love this. I love this blush, but I guess I'm just uh, not keeping it. All right, then let's go here. 
Um, all right, I'm going to start with Natasha Denona. Like, even though I, all right, there's Natasha, right? So I'm not going to forget. So that's a, kind of looks like a berry. This flower nose one looks like a berry. Hmm. I feel like those are kind of similar, don't you think? All right. Watermelon Bliss. Again, yeah, they're different. This is slightly warmer, but you know, the way I wear blush so sheared out, are you gonna know the difference? I don't think so. That's a Tasha Denona, the flower nose, the house beauty, watermelon bliss. I, I don't feel like there's enough of a difference between these, so definitely gonna get rid of the flower nose. Wow. I I would have bet money that that one was absolutely staying, but the packaging is bulkier, it is harder to store. Um, these two are not so different, I feel like. Okay, this Pat McGrath looks a little more orangey, a little more corally, I guess I would say. No, nope, and it doesn't look like that on my wrist, though. Let me put that one aside. Pat McGrath, that one's going to pass right now. This one's a little more in the pink side. I just really like that one. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't know why my Chanel was off to the side. The Chanel is going. And um, Pat McGrath is going. And I'm going to keep this one. All right, now we have a few things up here as well that I felt like I wanted to come back to. In my mind, I really thought that, oh my God. Um, I really thought that this look like this but they're they're nothing alike at all and then this one um i just love how vibrant it is i don't have anything like this um and the white highlighter i just think it's stunning so that one's gonna stay um i don't feel like the jones road adds anything unique it's, you know, it's a shade of pink. I have other. So Jones Road is going to go. Um, this, this is an absolute save. You know what? Um, I, I did not see this coming. I'm going to get rid of the Chanel. Yeah. You know, and this palette, the other thing is, if you if you know, you know, um, I got this palette because I was upset because some bratty kid insulted me in the elevator in my building. So now every time I use this blush, it makes me think of that kid and being irritated, and I don't need that negativity in my life. So bye-bye. Uh, I feel good about that. All right, folks, I, I don't know why I am having such a hard time wrapping my head around these powder blushes, um, right? Uh, so I have purple and berry and a Barbie pink and another Barbie pink and a very glowy Barbie pink. Um, I have this glowy coral, this more matte coral. 
this brown, this terracotta, I should say. Um, this one is more of a, like a natural pink, like you were just exercising. I don't have anything as vibrant as this. Um, I am not paying attention, people. I had this in the discard pile, so now I have to go through everything because I don't trust myself. Okay, I like you. I like you. Of course I like you. I'm sorry I put you in the wrong pile. For the Westman, I don't need the same color in both, but I'm going to keep both. And the reason why is this is a mini. Um... So this could be in a, you know, plant a pan project. I can get through that easily. I don't find it's the same shade as this version of the same shade, which is Petal. And these compacts, this is a packaging thing. If I didn't like this, I can just buy a replacement of some other something in a pan from Westman Atelier and put it in here. I, I like them both. I want to keep both. Keeping. God, why am I, why is this so hard? Um, yeah, uh, keeping. I'm not ready to give this one up, and you know why? Because I love the idea. That's why it was useful to have the face palettes open of pairing these two together, right? So, yeah, I want to keep that one. Okay, my God, I feel like I've been through a war. Um, I look like I've been through a war. The, I, I have been all over the place. I don't know why I cannot think straight in this video. We're on our third battery. But um, I have a plan, okay? Because... Um, Blushes has just been hard, and I think maybe it's because I have done powder and cream blushes all in the same run, and this time I'm doing differently, and it's about five days in between, and my mind is just elsewhere today, so um, I think that's why I just can't keep everything straight. All right, so let me, let's just, let's just, uh, I, I can't bear to open them now. I'm going to get myself crazy again, but... Let me organize by brand. Um, I'm going to go to another project. Yes. Okay, so I, I don't, this is not about the packaging thing, but I just like that, you know, if I wanted to hold on to packaging because luxury was important to me, I still have here Patrick Ta and Hermes, a Chanel, a Gucci. I like the plushy Kaleidos one, so... Um, for that reason alone, I, okay, these are all staying. I just want to now kind of go through everything that I'm getting rid of and go through my thoughts and why. And this is partly to verbalize for myself to kind of get it out loud, but I think it really gives me some insight into my purchasing. So, for example, both of these palettes came out, and both of them, I jumped to get it. I, you know, I'm on the Natasha Denona website. You know, I wanted to get it as soon as it came out, but um, I don't use them. They were impulse purchases, and I have the mini of this, which I forgot to show, which I use quite often. So, you know, this one was kind of like... Uh, the excitement of a new release and the reality is these are still products on her website if I ever wanted them I could get them it's, you know let other people get it and review it so I feel good about getting rid of that one this Chanel blush this is like I said one of the oldest blushes that I have since I started wearing makeup and I've used it it's been in project pans um, you know, I like I said, I have Chanel packaging and other things. I'm not really, I think it's a beautiful blush. I'm not really wed to the shade. And, you know, I've enjoyed it. Now it's 
chance with somebody else. This surprised me. Um, these are all three of my Pat McGrath blushes. Pat McGrath is one of my all-time favorite brands. But um, they don't seem to work for, for what I have. And there's nothing here that I can look at. Whatever version is close to that shade, um, I like better for one reason or another. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pass these along. I hope I can sell them and somebody, you know, enjoys them. And, and that's the same thing with these, is I don't use them. I got caught up in the excitement. They're not good shades for me. Um, this one, yes, but this one, just it just doesn't go with what I'm trying to do. Now I'm starting to think about this one. Oh, my God. You know why I'm starting to think? is because I'm into brown now. Oh, okay. All right. All right. This this guy made it through, but this one, this one did not. Uh, this is, you know, I think one of the vibes of Jones Road is the no frills kind of packaging and the simplicity, and I get it, and I'm into it, but this blush, you know, I have other versions I like better. This one... Again, I have Chanel packaging for other things, plus this is associated with the negative memory, and I think I can get my money back. I bet I can get some money back on these Sukus. I like them, but there was just nothing that was so incredible about them that I was like, oh, Suku, you got to try it. And uh, I noticed a video by Hope Mess Tom recently about Suku. They were not a fan. It's not that I'm not a fan, but I... Um, when I use these, they don't feel like anything special to me. So those are going. And then this one, total impulse purchase. Shouldn't have done it. It's on the website if I want it. I think this can make somebody very happy. And um, I'm going to sell this one. And I, and I don't feel bad about it. That's the right decision. Uh, this one, it's just, um, I just don't use it. I don't think about it. And this one, I do use. And I do love the packaging, but the packaging is bulky. The shade isn't different enough from other things I like better. And I might save this though, honestly. I might save this, and if there's ever some kind of special powder that I have and it's in, I, I could always put it in here. So I'm going to save this as just like a pretty object to look at on my desk in front of me. Okay, so that one's retired. So now we're getting rid of um, 14 of these palettes. Four of the 14 are, um, you know, duos or highlighter blush. And I'm keeping... And I'm keeping 21 and you know let's say I take these face palettes out because I had counted them already um, I'm keeping 19 I'm getting rid of 14 so that's that's pretty good of course we have the issue that um, this is actually a cream I think it should have been in that category but I'm keeping it anyway And this was also supposed to be with creams, but I want to keep that one anyway as well. So, okay. Um, of things we've evaluated, keeping 19, getting rid of 14. And I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, folks. You know what? I think this has to be a continuation because now I feel like there needs to be a battle of the creams versus the powders to ultimately curate the blushes down because often I use creams and powders together. So stay tuned for the third installment of my blush declutter because I, uh, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm exhausted now and starving. I need lunch.
Okay, so that was the declutter. Let me know how you think I did. Did I make good decisions, bad decisions? Do you agree, disagree with anything? Um, do you think the items that I'm saying that I'm going to post for sale would actually sell or not? I would love to know any and all of it. Um, if you can give this video a like, I would greatly appreciate that and a subscribe would be even better. But ultimately, I just appreciate you spending this time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and I will see you again in another video soon.